guys back are here. Just uh, sun's out today. First nice day in uh, like over a week. So, so I'll jump on the bike and uh, head out for a ride. So I'm going to go and try to check out a, uh, a campground. Uh, I wouldn't mind trying to possibly get a camping maybe next week. So just have a, a good five days straight of uh, decent weather. So go check out this campground and um, we'll see what it's like and uh, maybe we'll pack up the bike on Sunday or Monday and uh, go for a camp. So let's go check it out. The Mac is out here now. In an amp hole. Autos. Yeah, nice. Just a big new development out here. They really sort of cleared all this land and started a uh, building. It used to all be pine forests. In 2003. Uh, Canberra bushfires sort of burn all the forest down and well a lot of the suburbs up here in front of us um, and then yeah they just uh, went nuts with the development I suppose so this leads right down into a, uh, a river valley where there's an old pumping station that pumps the water up into the uh, pipeline here pumps the water into town so there's actually another little campground down here by the river that will probably come to at some point as well it seems to get pretty busy though because it's so close to town and uh, it's got good facilities it's a shower block there it's pretty small campgrounds and barbecues and stuff down here too although it's not the most user friendly to be honest with you it's uh they've got a lot of um well it looks alright there with the river sort of full a lot of people there today actually okay they must have cleaned it up last time i went down there there was that thick uh, just with scrub and bush and between you and the water it was a terrible spot to try to go swim because you had to literally go bushwalking to get into the water. Right. Here's the old pumping station. Looks like there's a few campers in the campground. I'll pull into the campground here and have a bit of a gaze. Might spot the battery in the camera as well. Quite a few people here. I've never seen it this busy. Like I said I think with the obviously school holidays, summer, COVID, 
of the people are taking the opportunity to uh, hang around and uh, go for a camp. I'll pull up and uh, change it back on the camera, I think. So yeah, this is uh, a lot more busy than I thought it would be. There's so many campers, it's not funny. Um, assuming since the school holidays. Uh, maybe I'll wait a few more weeks before coming to this one, I think. I'll wait till school goes back and then come here during the week because uh, I'll still be on leave. So I might pop out here just for a quick overnighter and have a camp. Nice little spot. It's very green at the moment. River's flowing quite a bit. There's a bit of current in the river. Just uh, saw the dam coming down the hill. There's a fair bit of uh, water overflow still. So, yeah. But we'll jump back on the bike and uh, keep on trucking. Let's uh, head out of here. This is definitely way too busy for me. Let's keep going. Some uh, twisty turnies now, and head up through here out of the village and uh, head out on the Brindabella Road and uh, go check out uh, Blue Range Hut Campground. Uh -oh. A little bit of dirt road to get to uh, Blue Range Hut, but uh, hey, it is what it is. Here we go into Blue Range Hut Campground. Let's see what this uh, road's like on the way in. Eh? Give this uh, four-wheel drive a little bit more distance. Uh, I'm driving through a cloud. It's like this all the way in. It shouldn't be too bad. Uh, the bush out here looks really good. It'd be nice to go for some walks around here. There's a place called uh, Sherwood Forest Park. 
it's an old homestead or something there there's a it's really nice in the spring because there's a, a bulb is all planted through the field so it's a uh, little flowers in the spring um, that might be uh, something to do although you've got to walk through all this uh, forest and stuff to get there and looks like it could be easy to get lost as well so you got to keep your wits about you Let's go through. Nice little running creek. Sherwood Homestead site. Okay. I didn't think it was this far in, but uh, I think because of um, well, how slow I'm riding, that's probably uh, why. Yeah, so uh, this is the campground, and uh, yeah, it looks like you've got to uh, get the uh, code obviously when you book. Obviously, I haven't booked. I've just come for a uh, drive out here, so um, well, we'll go for a wander out and have a look. Um, this is where it is. That road wasn't too bad, uh, to be honest. The uh, road at uh, Broomba Rocks is worse than that, so uh, yeah, it's not too bad. Just take your time, take it easy. A little bit slippery there on some of those corners there. Front tyres a little bit wobbly, but you know, it's not a dirt bike. Just take your time and enjoy the view. It's actually a really nice bush out here. It's really dense. Uh, no bushfire has affected out here. Um, so yeah, you can see there's already some campers up here at the campground. So we'll wander in, have a bit of a look around, and. Uh, I'm thinking this is going to be the site of uh, the next uh, motor camp. So, well, we'll go up there and have a look around. Well, geez, this looks like a fantastic camp spot. The bush is wonderful, nice little creek. It's so green with all the rain. Um, nice little secluded uh, campsite here. Got out of the way in the trees. Um, yeah, a lot of flat ground right here, but. Uh, could uh could be a goer or you know if I'm I'm planning on coming during the week anyway so hopefully we'll lose a few campers uh you know it is school holidays so we'll see what happens but uh, there's not many people here compared to the other campsite uh absolutely nuts up here there's there's a few cars here that don't look like they're camping and uh there's about uh yeah, I don't know four or five cars so as you can see here so lovely big grassed green area couple of sites there's also some sites on the other side of the uh, toilets there and a uh, yeah, nice little creek down here you can uh, get to for uh, you know, washing dishes and whatnot I suppose oh. I think I need to get one of the uh, Water purifiers, I think. So something like that'll be handy just to be able to get some, get a bit of extra water if you need it. it. Means you wouldn't have to carry so much on the bike either. So, well, what an absolutely lovely spot. I'm uh, coming to camp here for sure. Beautiful, dense, untouched uh, bush from the fires, and uh, good facilities here at the campgrounds. Um, there's the toilets up there, nice little creek. Uh, it's very green, obviously, we've had a lot of rain, so everything's very green, but it's, it's well kept mode, so the grass looks really, really good. Um, so I think uh, I'm definitely gonna come here for a camp. Next, uh, Bucko's Moto Camp Adventures. Ooh, stay tuned.
Oh, that's not a bad view from up here. Tell you what, with this uh, sun out, it's definitely starting to uh, heat up a little. It's, uh, yeah, it's coming quite warm. Oh, and here we go, back on the good old tarmac. Nice little picnic areas out here, some people out here. See a Rio crossing, but uh, we're not allowed to camp here either, unfortunately. Well, it would be a nice little spot. Oh, Jesus, good one, dickhead. Oh. Alright, guys, I just finished up some lunch. Well, um, uh, day is turning into a cracking day. Jeez, the blue sky is fantastic, quite warm. So, we'll jump on the bike, head home, and, uh, Next time we see me, we'll probably be doing a uh, motor camp out at that uh, Blue Range campground because uh, it was pretty good. So, uh, hope to see you guys out on the road. Peace! So, we got a battery light on. That's a bit strange. Right, so by the looks of the guys, we have a battery problem. I wonder if we've, uh, Shaking a wire or something loose on that dead road. There are about 11.8 volts. And we've got a battery light and engine light on. So I might see if we can hook it home, at least get up to the uh, maybe stop at the Harley shop. Guys, we just uh, keep going. No help from the holy shop. There we go. We're about uh, 10.7 volts, holding fairly steady. Going to make it home, and uh, yeah, we'll have a look. At, uh, have a look and see what the hell is going wrong. Loose wire or something like that. A little bit annoying, but uh, well, a little part of the adventure, I suppose. Right, guys. So I've had a good play around. Obviously, fiddled with all the plugs, give it a good clean. Uh, can't find any obvious issues there, but uh, have a look here with the voltage. Uh, back to normal. Um, so who knows? I'll just put it all get back together and uh, go for a bit of a ride around and you know, cross things that doesn't uh, come back. It's a little bit nerve wracking that um, I haven't found it, which means it can happen again. Yeah, I could have been in a worse position next time if it does to happen. So um, don't. I don't know what else to do. Put it back together and give it a test, I suppose.
Peace.